Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hazeline. 안녕하세요, 지린이에요. I just arrived in KL. This is my Airbnb. <laughs> I am here in KL for two reasons this time. One of the reasons is to attend my convocation. I was studying and flying at the same time and I completed my degree a few months ago. If you have not watched my videos in the past, check out the link over here. Another reason is that I have an appointment with the Embassy of Korea for my visa application submission. So I am going to be here in KL for five days. I am quite excited to attend my convocation because it's been a lot of hard work studying and flying at the same time. A lot of people ask me why I choose to study and fly at the same time. I, um, 2019 was a very tough year for me. I've had mental health struggles and that time I thought maybe I should quit my job. But I didn't know what to do. I like being a student, I like to learn and I like to study. Of course not everything, only something that I like. Yeah, so that time I thought maybe I should study overseas because it's also one of the things that I have been wanting to do. I saved enough money, so I thought like maybe I should work for a few more months and save a little bit more money and then I'm set. I can go to study overseas. And in just like one, two months later, COVID hit. I was okay because I had a lot of time to rest and somehow I recovered after a few months. So that time I thought, yeah, I still want to study, but I don't want to study overseas because I've been watching vlogs of people who are studying abroad. They are like studying in the dormitory most of the time like it's all online study so I thought that's going to be the same as distance learning so I was looking for a university that is offering distance learning program then I found my university I also received a lot of questions about how I did it there's no um, specific way you just do the flights that you have to do and then you just meet deadlines for your assignment submission just do it <laughs> I wasn't the only person doing that. It's quite common for cabin crew to study and fly at the same time. I think two or three out of 10 cabin crew that I know did that before or are still doing it right now. It's definitely something very achievable if you have discipline and you are willing to sacrifice some of your social life. Looking back right now, I am actually very glad because as a cabin crew, you have a lot of free time. I am really glad that I did not just waste my free time. I did achieve something which I am very proud of. It's 6.30 in the evening right now. I think it's time for me to go for dinner. But before I go for dinner, I think I should give you a room tour because I booked a very nice room this time as I am here with my grandmother and my mom. I just came back from the embassy and seems like everything's going quite well. I'm going to get my result next week. I still need to change my flight, but I'm glad I can make it for school. I'm going to be meeting some of my friends today. Tomorrow and the day after, I'm just going to rest, stay in my Airbnb or maybe just go out for food. My convocation is three days later, so I'll probably see you on that day. guys, I'm in Nilai now. Tomorrow is my convocation and my university is in Nilai. I just checked into a resort hotel which I didn't plan to be here at all. So something happened today. I booked a very nice Airbnb in Nilai and I checked into the room. I saw that the room is totally different. Like, um, you can see it from the photos, right? It's different. And secondly, it's so dusty that when we wipe, it's like black. The wet tissue is like full of dust. There are stains everywhere at the furniture, like table, even the chair, there's white stains. And then the wall people came off and there are moles everywhere. And like scratches on the wall is very not well maintained. You can also smell like a very moldy smell, which was very unbearable. My grandma kept on coughing because of the smell. I had to leave the room immediately because it was very uncomfortable and the smell is just... you wouldn't want to be there. 
so I contacted Airbnb support and also the host and I asked for a refund and then the host told me that um, I didn't get my room because the room is under renovation I was very upset and I told her isn't it necessary to tell your guest he or she's not getting the room that's being booked right <laughs> the host apologized and offered me another room so I went to the room it's just slightly better than the one before still full of ants very dusty and the wallpaper came off as well I told the host I'm sorry I cannot stay here I will contact Airbnb for the refund I need to leave here you are not keeping your promise first of all this is not the room that I booked second of all you promised that they're gonna be basic toiletries like shampoo, body wash, toilet rolls and then the host told me that oh we don't provide toilet rolls we provide tissue paper and I'm like <sighs> then where is the tissue paper? because I don't see them in the room then the host was not replying for like 30 minutes I already returned the keys to the locker and I left she replied later saying that she will bring the toilet rolls to my room and I told her that I thank you for that I know that you cannot refund me because of the policy so I will contact Airbnb support for that and I left the place I came to this resort hotel and I am so happy with this place it's way cleaner and it's only 20 ringgit more than what I paid for for the Airbnb so why not for now, yeah, I just need somewhere to rest for the night and tomorrow early morning, I'm gonna head for the complication. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna keep in touch with Airbnb support. I hope they can assist me with this. I didn't get what I paid for, so I think I deserve a refund. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you think I deserve a refund or do you think it's my fault? <laughs> Let me know down there in the comments. I'm gonna go to rest right now. I'll probably see you at the complication tomorrow. Which one is the front? <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> Attention please, kindly be seated according to your program. Thank you. But for the generation to come.